well, the more you talk about it, the more I'm like, it's it's just gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse. Like it's, it's <laughs> no, not, bro. It's, Daredevil it's is not... gonna save the world. <laughs> we'll see. Um, it's possible, but we'll see. I think what they're trying to do is like push it as quickly as possible, and I think that's the wrong way to do it. Um, I think the reason why we have so much like from some people will say call it. Uh, superhero fatigue it's just movie it's just movie fatigue dude like it's literally just too many movies that are coming out that are remakes reboots and you know reworks of things that were originally done to have like a certain storyline so like when you change when you change so much things or when you redo everything it's like you're not giving us exactly anything new we have nothing to to chew on for a mm -hmm. while to kind of like enjoy some of the the other things that we would like to enjoy on a on a you know I would say like a weekly basis, like for movies, for not, not just for movies, but like for shows, like, why can't, like, why is it that they want to sit so many people down in show, like in movies when we could create series, when we could have like shows that could, that could essentially like pull things into a different direction and kind of lead up into a movie, um, mm -hmm. which I think would be, would be the best case. Like we haven't seen a daredevil movie in a long time. And I think we're long overdue for one. It's like, it's it's one of those things where like you could have essentially done a daredevil movie with like spider-man and the punisher um and like made it fucking cool maybe it's like the the mob bosses in in hell's kitchen are going nuts and kingpin is behind all of it because he's been endorsing them and like essentially that's where you know the punisher comes in because he wants to fight like he wants to make sure to take down you know the all the mobs because of you know what happened to his family in the past uh spider-man joins in because he's part of queens and it's starting to affect queens a little bit because it's starting to bleed out then you have daredevil like you know from hell's kitchen essentially hel like helming the battle um and there you go like you just have this whole uh, like congregation they're split up in these different areas of you know uh of it's mostly new york right it's not like yeah, bleeding out into other yeah so like you have them in new york from these different sections they hit each other for a second, be like, you know, first time meeting, being like, who the who the hell are you? And it's like, no, like, you know, Spider-Man's like, no, I've heard of you. You're Daredevil or you're Punisher. Like, I I read about you guys all the time, like, because that's how Spider-Man is. Like, you have these things where it's like they congregate for a second and then they're split up again because they, they still have to take down different areas. And then they realize like, oh, we need to work together to bring down each section and then work our way towards Kingpin. It, like, I've been thinking about something like like that as a plot for so long. Mm -hmm. because it's so fucking cool like it's it, it'd be so nice to have something like that you know it, it, you have the means like you don't have to make a show for spider-man or the punisher um because you've seen them in the past like and spider-man's more of a movie so like that's why you would put him into a movie yeah, um you, yeah. I, I, would put, I don't think spider-man will ever be a show he'll be I an saw. animated show He'll be oh, yeah, yeah. No, of course of course i don't think you know i don't think we're gonna see tom holland ever appear on a tv show and that's fine. He, he's a movie star. Like, you know what I mean? I, do, I just I, don't see that happening. Same with like Chris I, Evans and stuff. I don't really see him showing up in a, a Disney Plus series. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm saying. Don't yeah. like you have to stop thinking that, that it's the, the, the actors that are a part of it need to be the character. The whole yeah. point of being in the costume and being a, being a hero is that anybody could wear it. Anybody True. could be it. So True. like just have all these different like have different you know actors that are up and coming who want to try their best to to you know be a part of this you know world itself have at like have at it like give them that that chance let them be the friendly neighborhood spider-man let them be you know the captain america saving the the world uh, day by day you know like you know hydra's at it again like we're like give us some animations man like i miss that shit it's like it's so good when when you when you see like Earth's Mightiest Heroes. I started watching that, and like from the get go, I was already taken in. It was like so fun. It's not the same the same actors. It's all different voices, so you get this kind of like this new feeling. Like, oh, yeah. that's cool. Like, I kind of like. They're like, I kind of like this, and then that creates like debates and stuff. It's like, well. I mean, I really like the, you know, the Iron Man from the show, the animated show, but the movie was kind of good too. Like I like how oh, RDJ is doing this, but this voice actor kind of really hit it on, like, you know, in terms of the comics and, you know, it's all these things like you kind of get people talking and then it just kind of gets exciting again. When you give us so much movies and, and like very little live action shows that we give a shit about, 
it, it turns into this where it's like they're we're dead we're alive we're dead we're alive we're dead and so right yeah. now with dead with deadpool we're alive apparently and so for now for now yeah <laughs> right so like when agatha comes around you're gonna be like we're dead and yeah. i'm telling you right now finto we're not skipping that shit no no, no we... i will 100 watch it i'm gonna watch everything okay. fact okay. 100%, you know, and like even, I don't know, this sounds terrible, but I enjoy coming on here and talking shit about stuff sometimes. You know what I mean? It's fun. You know, when 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 they fuck up and when they make mistakes, it's fun to laugh at them. But, you know, obviously I prefer when the MCU is doing good and we could just like hardcore fanboy on shit. Like, of course, that's where I want to be. But but the stuff's I, bad too. It, it creates fun conversations, you know? Yeah. And, and, and that's the thing is like, I'd rather they're I, like, I'm glad that they're still a multitude. I like yeah. it's much as much as I don't like certain shows and whatnot. I think that it it would it fits better that we have these kind of moments. Yeah. But to but to have a, 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 like the full population essentially go She Hulk terrible, and then very few of them be like She Hulk kind of good. But then we tell them to shut up. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> you know, it's it, it, it that's bad. Like you need to be able to have like the kind of the conflict. It's like, oh, I kind of liked it. You know, I kind of like that, that they did this and that. Yeah. But I think even the people that are trying to sugarcoat it are like having a hard time, you know, defending it. And there's only so much sugar, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're going to run out. Fact. Um, right. For anyone who might be listening to this, I'm just going to read out this comment that Marvel Maniac put in. So he says, Daredevil's better as a show. Spider-Man will be better as a show too. I'd love to see Spidey fight a new villain every week. Like, honestly, yes, of course. Like, And even in I, live action, I think might be a, a, a tough ask for something like that. Just because, you know, Spider-Man is such a... You know, he's like probably the number one character and they want to save him for the box office and all this sort of stuff. I understand that from a like business point of view, but the 1994 Spider-Man series is my Bible. It's it's what made me a little comic book nerd when I was a kid and I loved all five seasons of it. Every single episode, I could watch it from start to finish. I could throw it on now and watch it from start to finish. You know what I mean? Like not a problem. The show is incredible. And I would love to see that. Absolutely. And the Daredevil Netflix show is, and I don't care what anybody says, I'll fight any man who says any otherwise, but this show is the greatest comic book show to date, and I don't think it's ever going to be beaten. It is perfection. The Daredevil Netflix show is a 10 out of 10 for me like honestly and i've watched it like four times and each time i watch it it gets better i appreciate charlie cox acting so much more burnt hall as the punisher is just absolutely gripping like everything foggy nelson karen page she i feel sorry for her like because I, I when i say this but she's a very annoying person the girl who plays karen page deborah ann wall i was only listening to her on um she was on burnt hall's podcast during the week and you know she's had a very hard upbringing and stuff like that like and i feel sorry for the actress but She's a very annoying actress, but even even in this show, it works. She's a, she's a great actress. You know what I mean? It just it all fits so well together. D'Onofrio is kingpin. It is the greatest fucking shit ever. Like honestly, it's amazing. Do we think that Disney is going to ruin Daredevil? Uh, so one of the points I, I I always jot down notes of what I kind of try to keep on the tracks of these conversations, and one of the bullet points that I had here was something I saw during the week uh, that they're saying that. Daredevil is the Marvel version of Daredevil on Disney Plus is going to be more violent than the Netflix show. And I'm like, more violent? I was like, he like, is that possible? And if it is possible, are they only doing that to maybe deflect from the fact that the show might not be as good story-wise and script-wise and everything? If it's just not quite as good as the Daredevil, as the Netflix version, but they're like, we're going to make it gruesome and, you know, he's going to be kicking the fuck out of people. And maybe they're going to hope that all the blood that's coming in is just going to make people like it a bit more. You know what I mean? And I kind of feel like that's what they did with Echo as well. They're just like, this is the first show that's rated M for mature. And like, everyone was like, oh shit, this is going to be violent. Like, you know, I'm gonna definitely going to watch this. And then I think we saw blood once in a fight or something. It was just the M rating was just to try and get people in and it just didn't work, you know? So I kind of hope that they've got a good script and everything, but I kind of think when I read something like that, that they're making the show more violent than the Netflix version, I'm kind of thinking, are they trying to do that as a selling point? I don't know. I'm scared, but I, I, I have faith that this show is going to work. The fact that they, we haven't seen an episode of it, we're not going to see an episode of it until next March. 
and the second season starts production i think in the coming weeks like so that's 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 a bit of a sigh of relief for me because i know if they if they were in any way shaky on it there's no way they'd start rolling cameras on season two mm-hmm. you know they, they wouldn't they'd have to wait and see okay are people going to take it in are they going to enjoy it are they going to like it is it a success yeah let's go with season two they know already that it's going to be good so they're like we're making season two before season season two will be finished before season one even comes out which again is great as well because we're probably going to have two seasons of daredevil before doomsday yeah uh jesus man i like i i really hope that that this goes well um then they'll see that you know things work better if you actually give the characters exactly what they're intended to do uh, especially from when we see them in the comics like if they're like marvel isn't a like really like the golden age of marvel and even the golden age of dc there were no, there was no blood there was nothing yeah. it was literally like that man's stealing a tv stop him and then you see superman drop down and he's like halts and that's it yeah yeah, yeah you yeah. know silver age is all like the the blood and shit like it's and then you have the dark ages which is kind of what we're in Mm -hmm. where it's like you know we really don't know what entails for the future of marvel and in and also for dc like they're they're pulling back too much because they want to appeal to the kids um you know and they're not and and you know when they do do too much you know it may be something that that even the adults are like i just didn't i just didn't care for it yeah. and i think I, th- I think they need to find that that sweet middle um where they not even that i would say fuck that you know no no sweet middle give us movies that are just like crazy just messed up crazy bloody um graphic and and whatnot because that's that's for us like that's for the we're getting people. that I think we're well, going to get all this. This is I, coming, bro. Maybe. I, I, I think know, so. I don't think hold so. your breath. Don't hold your well, breath. 